Hi, my name is Jonathan Grobman, Public Affairs Specialist for NRCS California. I'm joined today by Dave Smith, our state soil scientist, who was recently selected to become the director of the Soil Science Division at National Headquarters. Dave has been with us in California, holding various state, regional, and national positions for 34 years. Today we are going to discuss the reorganization of NRCS's soil science program. Dave, thank you so much for joining me today. Glad to be here, Jonathan. Thanks for the opportunity to introduce myself and explain a little bit about the program. So let me start with question number one. Can you please start with the general overview of the NRCS Soil Survey reorganization as it pertains to state and MLRA staffs? Let me begin by pointing out that the Soil Survey program experienced a budget cut of about 15% going into fiscal year 2012. So that and the likelihood of continuing tight budgets for the agency over the next few years is really a primary driving force behind the need for change. We needed to look at new ways of doing business that would allow us to continue producing and delivering the soil survey information and the soil science technical support that we're so well known for and also that's so integral to the mission of NRCS. The 15% budget reduction amounts to about 100 fewer affordable FTEs going from a FY 2012 base year and projecting out into FY 2013. A large portion of this reduction in staff numbers has occurred already through attrition starting back in 2011. Uh, but, you know, some of the reduction in FTEs is also occurring within this latest round of soil survey program restructuring. The first part of our current restructuring uh, emanates from the Secretary of Agriculture announcing a number of USDA office closures earlier in the year. This was part of the USDA Blueprint for Stronger Service. And the Secretary called for closure of 24 NRCS soils offices across 21 states. That included six MOs and 18 soil survey offices, and it resulted in about 75 employees being affected. People in the closing offices needed uh, to be placed elsewhere in the agency. The second part of the current restructuring is the larger overall restructuring that's coming from recommendations made by a technology improvement team that the chief uh, initiated. There are five important new differences in our latest round of restructuring. We're first of all incorporating, you know, the 24 office closures. So we're, we're, we're operating with fewer people in larger regions of coverage. Uh, the supervision of the soils staff is be, and the budget and the operations overall are being moved from uh, the state conservationists and state leadership to uh, the soil science division at national headquarters. And we're going to have uh, 12 uh, soil survey regional directors in the old MO offices that are going to supervise the soil survey offices. Uh, third, the state soil scientists will be leading the National Cooperative Soil Survey Partnership and Technical Soil Services uh, in the states with some soil survey funding, but they will not be supervised by the soil science division. They will be supervised by the state conservationists. The fourth element of this restructuring involves the addition of the inventory of ecological sites. Uh, the soil site correlation aspect of what we do in the agency will be operated through the through the soil survey offices and regional offices. And that, of course, will be done in, in close working relate partnership with, you know, the SRCs and their staffs and the state offices and, uh, you know, nationally uh, a partnership between the soil science and resource assessment deputy area and the science and technology deputy area. And the fifth component of the, of the restructuring adds uh, some modeling units uh, which you'll learn more about in the future, but these are an extension of our SEEP uh, conservation uh, effects assessment project capacity. So again, all this was predicated by budget and the need to find creative new ways to continue effectively and efficiently delivering the core work of the agency. So what is the timeline for these changes? Well, again, this is occurring in two parts. The first part is the, is the secretary's office closure and, and the need to place those employees. And that process is just about complete. Uh, it's, it's been uh, since uh, 
spring of 2012 that this has been going on. So originally there was a Vera VSIP offered and some employees took the early out. Uh, others applied and were selected for other positions in the agency. And then the, the folks that were still affected employees have been offered reassignments here recently. And by January, mid-January 2013, all of those affected employees will all be placed in uh, positions. The second part is the overall restructuring. There is an, a step that we're still working through, which is uh, a requirement by the department, Departmental Regulation 1010, which requires uh, approval at the department level of a civil rights uh, impact assessment and other analysis of budget and staffing implications of our restructuring. And we anticipate that that will be completed uh, by the end of the first quarter or so, and then we'll uh, fully implement the second part of the restructuring. Hmm, very interesting. So now take staff, non-soil staff and field offices throughout California and the other states. Are they going to have to go through a different process to request uh, soil survey services from their area soil specialist? No, they will not. Uh, the resource soil scientists that are in the states uh, remain in place. There will be a state soil scientist in each state office leading the soil survey program. And uh, people can request uh, technical soil services, soil survey support, and soil science support in the same way as they have in the past. In addition, the staff that are housed in the soil survey offices that will be under the direction of the soil science division will be available to the states through the state soil scientists to assist that technical services delivery. So now, what are some of the benefits of this new relationship between the state and MLRA office leadership? It, it contributes toward the 90% focus to direct field positions working with farmers, ranchers, and forest landowners on a daily basis. The, the chief's technology improvement teams were part and partial to that that whole philosophy, that emphasis to try to get more boots on the ground. And by restructuring the soil survey program this way, uh, we really sort of facilitate uh, the other parts of the agency focusing their energy uh, from an operations management point of view in that direction. And the, the resource inventory, the soil survey, the ecological site development, the, the modeling units uh, can function under this new structure in an efficient way and keep our quality focus, uh, you know, in delivering those, those parts of our work. And, you know, I would add uh, it allows also more focus, I think, on the technical soil services, the delivery of soil science and soil survey information through the state soil scientists and resource soil scientists. And, and you know, that really helped augment and backstop our, our new initiative on uh, you know, soil health. Well, congratulations again on your new appointment to lead this new division. We want to thank you so much for your service to California over the last 34 years. So are you sad to be leaving California after all these years? Well, yeah. I mean, it's a great place. I've enjoyed working with the many excellent people here. I have, you know, many, many friends in the state. But on the other hand, I look forward to the opportunity to serve in a new role to assist not only to call my colleagues in California, but you know, other states and in, in, in a nation. I mean, I, I look forward to the challenge of, you know, serving as the soil science division director. And uh, I look forward to the many successes that we're going to collectively uh, to gain over the next few years. Well, thank you so much again, Dave. Once again, I'm Jonathan Groveman with NRCS California Public Affairs, joined today by Dave Smith, who is the incoming director of the New Soils Division in National Headquarters. Thank you so much again and uh, take care.